Hi, oh wait, what, what city are we in? Renton? Renton, <laughs> yeah. Hi, it's Josephine from The Point Shop. I'm in Renton, Washington right now. It's just a little south of Seattle, and I'm doing a point shoe fitting at Evergreen City Ballet. And today I'm fitting this beautiful dancer named Becca. She had tendonitis on her left ankle, so she was having some trouble getting over just on the left. But the right one looks great. She's currently in um, a point shoe. Can you stand up for me? That looks pretty good. Um, stand in first position and bring your left foot up on point. That one, perfect. Press up on both feet. Straighten your knees all the way. Okay, so if you look at her feet from the camera angle, you can kind of see that the left one is still struggling. And if you look really closely, Becca is going back and forth like this. So there's a very small micro movement in her ankles that shows me that she's struggling to kind of get over a little bit. And if you look at how she's wearing out her point shoes, she's mostly wearing out her shoes at the bottom of the platform, which is a little bit, um, it's like an indicator that she's not really getting over in class. So when I'm doing a point shoe fitting, sometimes when she, you're just stepping up on point, it looks like you're getting over because you're static and you're not moving around. But when you're in class and you're doing all of these different steps, you might not be getting over your point shoes. So how you wear out your point shoes is telling me a story of what you're doing in class. So that's mainly what I'm looking for right now. And the right actually looks okay. So I don't want to touch on that too much, but um, a lot of people have two different types of feet. No one really has perfectly even feet. You have a better foot and then you have a foot that's less flexible or maybe less strong and then you overcompensate to make up for the weaker side and that's when injuries happen. So I'm trying to get you a shoe that kind of evens her out so that she's not overcompensating with one leg. Okay, you can take those off for me. So, yeah. so we're gonna have her try on uh, something that's very similar to what she's in right now. Because point shoes have no left or right, you have the option of having two different types of point shoes or two different types, uh, two different sizes, two different shanks, whatever it might be. So um, I'm gonna try um, something that's very similar, but I'm gonna raise the crown a little bit so it's easier for her to push over and something that's a little bit softer and a little bit shorter in the band. Press up on both feet. So I love the placement of her left ankle right now, but I feel like the right shoe is almost too far over and it's breaking a little bit lower because she's much more flexible on the right. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna keep Becca in this, on this left shoe and I'm gonna try on the shoe, a different shoe for the right. So come down for me. Because the vamp is a little bit shorter on the new shoe that I gave her, um, Becca's actually coming out a little bit too far out of the shoe um, on her right foot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise the vamp back up and I'm gonna go to a slightly wider metatarsal. If I'm doing two different shoes on the left and the right, I generally stick with um, the same family because the color of the point shoes might be different. We don't want it to be too drastically different. The shape is very similar. So you can't really tell on stage that she actually has two different types of point shoes. But I will only do that if they're very, very similar. Normally when I do two different types, it's usually just uh, a sizing or a width or a shank difference. Bring your left foot up and then press up on both feet. Okay, so I, rate, I made the shank back uh, hard again and I also raised the vamp a tiny bit but not enough to, sh to really make a huge difference. You can't really see um, the difference on stage. But her left and her right are a lot more even now and what that does is that it kind of evens out both sides of your body so you're not overcompensating with your, your weaker side. So a lot of dance injuries stem from overcompensating on your weaker side and that can lead to a lot of issues because if you're perfectly symmetrical, there's much less chance that you're going to get injured. So that's just what we're gonna be working on today. Um, back into parallel, step up onto point. Looking at her perfectly from the side, she's actually just as over on the left as she is on her right, which was not something that was happening in her old shoe if you're doing the exact same shoe. So if you have a difference between your left and your right and it's pretty drastic, you might want to consider having two different types of point shoes between the left and the right. And then um, that can help with 
your alignment, symmetry, and help prevent injuries. If you have any questions about your point shoes, you can leave that on the comments and then I'll try to answer them the best way I can in my next video. And if you're in the Pacific Northwest, I'm going to be here for a couple weeks. So you can leave that in the comments as well and say hi. You can check out our schedule. I will link that on the bottom and I'll see you guys later.